Alright everybody, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have six people. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. This is supposed to be the first of like, I guess a three point part gaming series that they're going to make for this. Or I think they said there's going to be two other games that come out shortly after. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, we're about at 500 subscribers, so I'm trying to think of a 500 sub special. But if you have any ideas, let me know and I'll try to do my best with it. Alright, let's get cracking. But yeah, this is supposed to be like a horror visual novel game. Horror. From the Masters of Horror presents six people. Why is six afraid of seven? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Oh, I did it. All right. Let's go, Subway. Do I have to do anything? Now, this train ride is very eerie, and nothing is happening. Uh-oh, sounds are changing. I Let me off the train! Is that in Japan? Looks like it's in Japan. Look at that little cute bear thing. What the hell am I supposed to do? Can I move or something? This train ride sucks! <laughs> Oh, Lord. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything. Oh, there we go. The train's slowing. That is most definitely not English. I think it was Japanese because she said kudasai, which means please, I think. Some version of please. Please be careful as you exit the train. Is that what she was saying? I don't know. Google Translate! Attack! Okay. Okay. Are we going somewhere? Hey. It's like Yami Shibai. The door swished open and waited, waiting passengers streamed in from the station platform. The man counted them as they entered, as if checking how many they were. One, two, ah, 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 three, ah, 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 <laughs> four, whoa, five, and music, wait, wait, the man's brow furred and furrowed in confusion, slight confusion, none of, the, none of the passengers paid him any mind as they made their way onto the empty seat to bar one, one chose to stand. How dare he? He's ruining my nefarious plot. What? Nani? So I'm the sixth one. She. And a she. Oh yes. Back to looking at the doors. Oh, how great this is. This game's supposed to be around 10 minutes long, and I feel like a solid four minutes of this has been used at looking at the doors. Oh, 3.39. Look at my timer. Did I have time? Because I'm just watching the doors. I could really do without the door watching scenes, to be honest. I get that we're on the train, and there's doors, and we're moving. But, uh, yeah. This is... This is a song that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. There we go. Hype. One is engrossed in her phone. Why are we watching people? I must be like a murderer or something. Two looks hard to get along with. Dang, what about not judging a book by, your, by its cover, bro? I wonder why three won't sit down even though there's so many seats free. Because he needs to sh run in case you start shanking people. Four must be dozing. Just rest her eyes, dog. And five. Hmm. I could have sworn I si sworn that today. Whoa. He looked at me. How dare he? I'm the only one that gets to look at people. Did our eyes just meet? Although the man knew there was no real need to avert his line of sight, he quickly looked away. When he glanced back, he saw that the five was focused on the darkness rushing by outside. 
Whoa. Puzzled, the man dropped his gaze again. How dare you interrupt a song that never ends. Oh god, I hit... Don't scroll your mouse wheel, text log happens. And, oh my god. Yes! Yes! Something's happening! Yes! <laughs> None of the passengers could tell why they've been plunged into darkness. All of them have... Would have given anything for some light. Thankfully, the emergency lights soon came on, easing the passengers' nerves somewhat. Until the train slowed and came to an unscheduled stop between stations. Oh my god! No! Attention passengers, we regret to inform that this service has been delayed due to a power failure. We apologize for the inconvenience and hope to be on our way soon. Please remain in your seats until further notice. Thank you for your cooperation. Attention passengers, we regret to inform. The conductor's confirmation of a power outage less power outage lessened the palpable tension in the carriage a little. Da 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 da. Ten minutes passed. Then twenty minutes. After a half an hour had elapsed, Two's brewing anxiety was eclipsed by another more powerful emotion. He said. What? He said, for, until further notice, but nothing since. How dare he leave us passengers locked inside here like this? This is bullshit. Two lets Bill bitter complaints, unable to keep his temper in check any longer. Tim Two is mad. Too real mad. The long wait had clearly made him more irritated than he'd already been. He barked an order at the near person nearest to him. Hey you, open, help me open this door. What, psych? Who, me, um, are we allowed to just open it ourselves, I mean? Allowed? You tell me, the driver hasn't said anything else. I don't know what he's doing. But he's sure as hell ignoring us. Meanwhile, we're stuck twiddling our thumbs. I guess, but he, um, he said to remain seated and wait for... I asked you to help, damn it! Damn it! F fine all right. Lee's voice was barely audible as he buckled beneath Two's intimidating glare. Without further protest, he moved to help open the set of doors at the center of the carriage. But no matter how hard the two struggled, the door stayed stuck fast. Two kicked one of them in frustration. God damn it! What with these stupid things? They're so strong! What does the driver think he's playing at? Until now, five had been passively watching the conflict escalate. But at this new outburst, he spoke up, addressing the two in a conciliatory tone. Easy there, let's all calm down for a start. The placatory intervention ha must have embarrassed too, because he stopped yelling almost at once and became contrite. You think I mean... No, you have a point. Sorry about that. God, he's got beat by Polly. Uh, you there. I appreciate your giving me a hand. Um, no problem. Three kept standing in between the two men. Who's... Three is on the outside. Two awkwardly shuffled... You mean five kept standing in between the two men. Two awkwardly shuffled to an open seat a few meters away in a trans transparent attempt to avoid further rebuke. All right. Even in the dim light, it was plain to see that the clash in this already severe situation had sunk the passenger's spirits still further. No one spoke, not even a murmur. The strained atmosphere, far removed from daily life, was suffocatingly heavy. Anxiety, impatience, and irritation filled the carriage. But Five spoke up again, his tone still relaxed and unaffected by the surrounding 
uneasiness. This certainly is a pickle we're in. Are you doing all right over there? Dot da dot da dot da dot. Is that an answer choice for me? The man said nothing. But Toon soon opened his mouth as if to speak for him. Yes, well, thanks for pointing out the trouble we're in. In any case, we can all do for the time. All we can do for the time being is sit tight and wait. But why haven't there been any other announcements? I don't know, go check the front of the train. This is ridiculous. Five answered to his rhetorical question. You're right. There should have should have indeed have been another announcement by now. Yes, let's all wait, as you say. By the way, how are you ladies doing? Not too poorly, I hope. The two women in the carriage had been watching things unfold in silence since the blackout began. They looked relieved to be included in the conversation. All good here. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Five's hospitable influence allowed the women to relax, especially one who took it as a cue to begin rambling. No, don't you ramble. So, look, can anyone get reception on their phone? I can't get any si signal at all. I figure you should know. This is such a pain. Oh, I can still take pictures, though. Yikes, they're super dark. Maybe if I use the flash. One rose from her seat, still muttering. Ah, blinded me. And shamelessly snapped several pictures of the carriage's interior. And something evil will show up on the pictures. Oh my god, she's trying to give me a stroke. Stop it! <laughs> Am I going to get a picture taken? Of course not. And not of her either. Oblivious to the fact that Four was frowning more sternly with every shutter click, one called out to her. Hey ma'am, you want to take a selfie together? Actually, why don't we swap numbers? I, then I can send it to you. I would prefer not to. Oh, that's alright. Anybody else up for a selfie? That must have been the last straw for four as she turned to face one with a blunt scorn. Excuse me, did you take a picture of me before? Do you mind deleting it? And shouldn't you have asked permission from everyone else beforehand too? Not to mention, don't you find it exceedingly rude to go around photographing strangers in this context? What? Excuse you? Do you mind not leaping down my throat when you don't even know the full story? I was actually trying to avoid getting people in the shots, so what's your problem? Contrary to one's assertion, the other passengers were clearly visible in her snapshots. But Four bit her tongue and lapsed into silence. Her grim expression set harder. Okay. Anyways, how's everybody else doing? Can you get sig guys get a signal or not? Excuse sir, excuse me, but do you have any bars on your phone? We're on a subway. <laughs> My apologies, I don't even have a phone. I'm afraid I can't be of any assistance. Um, I can't get a signal either. You're in a subway! I don't think they you get signal down there, but I could be wrong, I guess. You can't? Well, shoot. Maybe they have Wi-Fi transmitters on the subway, I don't know. Each passenger gave the same reply in turn, but despite the bad news, the old man was still cheery. He spoke like he hadn't a care in the world. I'm sure the Wi-Fi would be a essential power use with the train shutting down. Oh, oh, you're so proactive. From your outfit of it, I'm betting you're working already. Picturing how I was at your age sure takes me back. Time's a cruel mistress, isn't she? I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. The man didn't know what to make of the el lively elderly man. He almost looked happy. Two might have also picked up on the curious old man's baffling mood through his speech. Pardon, but can I ask how old you are? No, never mind. That's out of line. It's just that you're probably not old much older than me, you know. Uh-oh. That music. Oh, really? How kind of you to say. I dare say I've got a great many years on you. Satan. Oh, you do? You don't look at it at all. 
A faint smile played on Five's lips. Who keeps texting me? What in the world? <laughs> God. The man kept watching the other's passengers in silence. Same as he'd done since they first boarded. One seems bored. I was surprised by something. One of her photos? She's looking over here. My text box is freaking out. Two is still talking to five. Three's taking a seat at last. Four looks put out. Five is chatting with two. Interesting, interesting. All is in order. Hmm, something feels off here. I can't tell what though. I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know, man. The man felt a strange chill of foreboding. Perhaps the apprehensiveness of the other passengers he happened to be traveling with had rubbed off on him. They'd all shifted their seating arrangements to sit in closer proximity to one another, as if drawn together instinctively. All of a sudden, a whistling screech pierced the ear. Two snapped to attention. Oh, is the power finally coming back on? But instead of the expected driver's announcement, a markedly different sound rang out. What? What is that noise? Ah! What's going on? Oh. No. That's a dot 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 Oh, shoot! We're screwed! We're dying in the darkness! That's no good. What? What is this music? Ohio gozaimasu! Good morning, thank you for joining us for the latest news update. Do to do to do 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 to do to do. We turn first to the tr subway tunnel collapse of the other day. Experts agreed the most likely cause of the collapse was a soil slippage due to subsidence. Authorities confirmed today that four passengers recovered from the mud and debris were announced pronounced dead at the scene. Excavation efforts remain ongoing. And its investigations are continuing into whether an electricity failure before the collapse had anything to do with the subway's train's unplanned stop. Although the death toll stands at four, preliminary reports indicate that all other passengers and staff have survived unharmed. Which would surely be a miracle considering the scale of the incident. We now cross live to... Tanya Peters at the scene. What? 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I got from this, can I click that phone? Four people. Something changed. There's that old man's hat. Can I click the phone? Ah, the old man was a shadow man. The whole time. Satan! Satan. Okay. Well, I could, that's what I was about to say anyways. We know that, um... Basically... The old man was evil. Because he was apparently way older than the other guy, even though he didn't look like it. So he's some kind of immortal evil being. And then, I don't know who I am. Am I the other survivor? Is it me and the old man? We survived and everybody else died? Why is there four people? Is that four people dead, or is that four people left? Because it said four people died. I don't know. We'll have to wait until the next games come out so we can figure stuff out, I guess. It was kind of interesting, but... Yeah, there's not much... Not much, uh... The climax kind of got ruined. Because you don't know what the outcome of it was yet. But I guess we'll see in the future, maybe. Alright, guys. Bye. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe.